Beneath the tarpaulins, the Royal Scots Dragoon Guard's newly acquired fleet of jackals, coyotes and panthers are ready for action. First, though, the soldiers are firing on foot and the Cumbrian mud is making the exercise a little tricky. As soon as I stood up there, uh, I just about had a regain, but I was almost flat on my backside. Uh, so the, the mud is quite difficult on this kind of ground because it slopes away, because it's so wet, so sodden. Uh, you find yourself finding it quite hard to get on your feet when you're, when you're down in the ditch. Climbing back out of it could be quite difficult. It's the event that we're all looking forward to. What's the red? Yeah, it's, it's good. I suppose it, it doesn't look that way, but once you're doing it, like, obviously you have to keep a straight head and obviously do your proper skills and drills on the ground, but at the same time, you're getting a bit of, a bit of fun in there, I think. Yeah. I sort of uh, went for an unplanned split, which did cause a bit of a wardrobe malfunction, which hopefully you can't see on camera at the moment. Soon it was time to wheel out the jackals. After 75 years in tanks, moving to light cavalry requires a good deal of new training. And in rather a baptism of fire, later this year the regiment take over as the British Army's lead light cavalry battle group, ready to deploy anywhere in the world and ready for any eventuality. So in this serial, uh, the crew have put on their respirators to simulate a chemi chemical attack, so the order gas, gas, gas is given and the crew had to take off their helmets, put their respirators on, helmets back on, and then they're firing uh, with the respirators on, which is very difficult, um, having to get in close to the GPMG. So you might notice their firing might be a little bit off to begin with, but they soon get on with the use of trace. The regiment used to be in tanks, and we've now re-rolled to light cavalry. Um, uh, and this is a, a new concept, um, and new for us. Uh, but uh, it's great, it's fantastically dynamic uh, and it gives us a real opportunity to be at the forefront of a new era of soldiering. As if rebasing, re-rolling and becoming the lead light cavalry battle group isn't enough, at midnight three weeks ago, two lanks handed them the baton of UK standby battalion. It's been particularly good here, uh, being in and around the local area for the past few weeks, talking to locals and, and how they were affected by the flooding. Uh, has painted that picture really well for our soldiers uh, who now really understand the task and, and just how much support they can bring to people if required. It's a sense of pride really for our regiment because obviously we've moved from Germany to here so like, getting used to helping the UK straight away is, is good for everybody really, especially knowing if something goes wrong in like the UK that we, we'd be able to stand up and help and that's like it's good to get ourselves out there as well and help the community. Joining them on exercise, a second CO, that of their brand new reserves regiment. The units pride themselves on their tight integration. Everything we do, whether it be adventures training, sports, battlefield studies, or pure sort of light cavalry work, we try and incorporate the other soldiers in. So really give every opportunity to both our soldiers to work together. And, and of course, importantly, we all now wear a grey beret, Absolutely. so we've got a real identity uh, together, which, which is brilliant for our sort of collective cohesion as well. So the, our, our key aim is that when the guys are integrated in the field together, you should not be able to tell the difference between the regular and the reserve soldier, and I think that's really key here. This is the, the way the army's going to operate in the future, and it's brilliant for me as a regular commanding officer because James is able to provide backfill uh, and extra levels of expertise. And of course, the great thing about the yeomanry is that within his ranks, he's got uh, civilians who have all manner of um, extra qualifications that, that we don't hold, uh, which acts as a real force multiplier for my battle group. The reserves will join them fully on Exercise Wessex Storm in the summer, when together they'll take on the mud of Salisbury Plain. Hannah King, Forces News in Warcock.